Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Domeyer, owner of the Rare Hawaiian Honey Company. Welcome to another episode of Honey University. Today, I'm gonna to tackle the topic of health benefits of honey. I'm sure you've heard on the news or social media about amazing health benefits of honey. Well, today I'm gonna to explore those and separate fact from fiction. Before we dig too deep into the health benefits of honey, we have to distinguish the difference between raw honey and processed honey. If you go to your supermarket and you look at the shelf and you see these little squeezy bears of liquid honey, that's processed honey. It's been heated to a really high temperature and then super filtered. Basically, you're getting some type of a sugar syrup. When you process honey like that, it mostly destroys all the beneficial aspects of honey. You really wanna look for a raw honey. How can you tell the difference? Well, first look at the label. It should say raw honey, but even then, sometimes you're gonna find a honey that says raw, that's not really raw. Raw honey crystallizes really quickly. So if you look at the shelf and you're seeing these jars of semi-crystallized or very crystallized honey, and it says raw, that is raw honey. The problem is when honey crystallizes, a lot of times it's crystallized in a way that doesn't feel good in your mouth. It's kind of crunchy. You can fix that though. You can take the raw honey home and put it on your stove in a pot of water that's about 110 degrees Fahrenheit and let it slowly warm up and it will liquefy again and it will stay liquid for a couple of weeks. That's how you solve that. Or you buy a honey that naturally crystallizes into a really silky smooth creamy texture like our Kiavi honey. Let's start with the biggest myth of all when it comes to health benefits of honey. That is allergies. I'm sure you've heard if you have allergies and you buy local honey, it's going to help you. The idea is that the bees in your area are collecting the same exact types of pollen that you're allergic to. And if you eat local honey, you will slowly develop an immunity. But guess what? Eh, that's the biggest fiction when it comes to honey and health benefits. There's absolutely zero clinical evidence that eating honey is going to help your allergies. In fact, pollen is a protein. Proteins are very susceptible to acids. So guess what? You eat that pollen, goes to your stomach, it gets obliterated by your stomach acids. And also think about it, the, the allergy is in your nasal passages where the pollen is irritating the epithelial linings of your nasal passages. It's different than eating it. So that one, we gotta give up. I mean, it's great for local beekeepers, but it's really not gonna help you. So let's talk about some of the facts when it comes to the health benefits of honey. And look, my PhD is in biology, so I'm only gonna be talking about things that have been published in the peer-reviewed scientific literature. You won't find any BS in this episode of Honey University. The first health benefit I wanna talk about is honey as an amazing prebiotic. As you know, in your lower gut, there are certain types of bacteria that are beneficial to your digestion, and you wanna keep those happy, and you keep them happy by feeding them prebiotics. Well, guess what? Honey is an amazing prebiotic. It is full of oligosaccharides, a type of sugar that's not really digestible in your stomach. So they pass through your stomach into your lower gut and feed those probiotic bacteria. So how many of you are diabetics? It turns out that honey may help glycemic control in diabetics. And what I mean by that is honey seems to elevate blood glucose levels much less than other types of sweeteners. But there's a caveat here. The evidence for this seems pretty strong in preclinical trials. Those are trials that use animals, but when they move to clinical trials that have used people, it hasn't been so clear. So there's either an issue there between the, the animals and the people, or perhaps the studies that use people weren't designed quite properly. So you may already be eating foods that are high in antioxidants because you know they're good for you. But guess what? Honey is very high in antioxidants. When you think about honey, you're not really thinking probably that it comes from plants, but it really does. The bees are collecting the nectar from flowering plants and condensing it into honey. When they collect this nectar, they're, they're also collecting these phenolic compounds from honey like uh, flavonoids and phenolic acids. They're very strong antioxidants and they're very good for you. Have you ever wondered why you can leave a jar of honey on your shelf at room temperature indefinitely and it never spoils. Well, that's because honey naturally has antibacterial properties. In fact, forever it's been used as traditional medicine by indigenous peoples for 
treating wounds, burns, that sort of thing. In fact, some types of honey have exceptionally high antibacterial properties. And I'm sure you've heard of Manuka honey, the one that comes from New Zealand in particular. But there's one other type of honey that actually has even higher antibacterial properties, and that's Ulmo honey. That one comes from the Patagonia region, like Chile and Argentina. In fact, we started selling that one on our website, rarehawaiianhoney.com. So if you like Manuka honey, you might want to check that one out. So I know I said I'm going to talk about the health benefits of honey, but let's talk about bee venom for a second. You don't hear much about it, but it does have potential health benefits. In fact, some people with arthritis inject themselves with bee venom and they think that it helps. A new study came out that bee venom may actually help against COVID. It's very preliminary and look, I don't suggest you go get stung by bees before you go sit on an airplane, but that's an interesting one. And another one is bee venom has shown some effectiveness in combating the cells that cause breast cancer. Now look, we're a long ways from a cure from breast cancer coming from bees, but I just think it's pretty cool, don't you? There aren't many things on this planet that are both good and good for you, but honey's one of them. I hope you learned something today in this episode of Honey University. Well, that's a wrap, but look forward to another one soon.